Afternoon, everybody. Today we wanted to show you some of the renovations we've made to our cargo trailer. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so I know recently we showed y'all a renovation of our cargo trailer. Well, we took that out on the road for a little while and unfortunately the shower area just did not quite work for us. So let's get started and show you a brand new trailer again. <laughs> okay, so this is where the shower area was. And like I said, we had to redo it. We put a bunch of hooks on the back of the wall back here to hang up all of our backpacks, um, hats and clothes, accessories of that nature. And then we also strapped in our Jackery so that it is uh, very accessible to us when we need to pull it out to charge it. Okay, back in this corner here, the top shelf is where all of our towels are hung up. In the very, very back of it, I do have some sleeping bags, some extra sleeping bags. Uh, and we also have a two-man tent in here because uh, while we're out on this trip, we will be taking an overnight uh, backpacking trip. On the second shelf is where I'm housing a, a basket that has like all of my coffee stuff, tea things, some coffee cups. We hung on some hooks right here. Also on the second shelf, we have two small heaters. Uh, they run off of our little uh, green propane bottles. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need them this go around because it is summertime, but we wanted to be prepared just in case, you know, we got out west and had a cold snap. On the bottom shelf, you'll uh, see that we wrap the cord for when we need electrical that uh, will run out the bottom and we can plug it up when we need that. And then we just have some of our uh, smaller little green butane bottles that we store back there. And then we just have our clothes basket sitting in this area. Okay, so this is where we decided to put the new shower. And let me open up, this is shower curtain, obviously. We used some PVC pipe to make this shower curtain uh, rod, which holds one shower curtain and it wraps around uh, like three quarters of the way. We just applied uh, some tin, made tin walls in here. Now, th because we needed the storage, we did put a uh, clothes uh, rod in here, which hangs all of our clothes on it. When we go to take our showers, I simply just take the clothes off and lay them on the bed. It's not that big of a deal, you know, and then when the, I'll dry the shower out, then hang the clothes back up. It also allows us to be able to steal uh, last trip, we stored our shower, uh, our toilet in our shower base so that it doesn't move when we are traveling. So the shower uh, houses our toilet system, a trash can, all of our uh, bathing supplies and cleanup supplies, and then our, of course, our reliance. Okay, and as part of the shower, uh, I built a wall on that side of it, and on this wall, I built more or less a half wall and then a partial wall to go the rest of the way up here. We wanted to be able to have, have the feeling of that our shower was bigger than it actually is. And with this, whenever you're inside, there's plenty of room. It's a 36 by, I'm sorry, it's a 32 by 32 shower, but there's plenty of room. But like I said, with this half wall here, on this side of it, we have storage for our uh, lights, our battery packs, uh, speakers, uh, tripods, several other things here on this side over here we have the chargers for our jackeries and a little junk box every house has to have a little junk box and ours is right there and right here we have a hook where we have a little lantern um we you this does when we travel this comes down but when we're parked we have it here and it's easy access to get a good light in here we have a, a picture here that my mom painted uh i wanted to take her with us because she's no longer with us um, this is a, just a little picture that we like. And on this little table here, it's a, a fold down table. You can snap two sides, drop it down, and then put it back up pretty easily. And it's very sturdy, very easy to use. This is where I make most of the videos. Okay, and here's our bed. Um, it's, we built a frame for it, but there was about eight inches of overhang that we were kind of wasting because it was just kind of drooping off the side. So what I did was uh, put a couple of uh, two by four uh, holders. I screwed them into the walls. And then with this two by four, I can easily pull it up 
to gain access to some storage that we have underneath here in, the, in this cabinet. Um, there, we have a PlayStation in here for whenever we have electricity, um, but it allowed me to expand the base of the bed out another six inches. So it's right to the edge here. So we have plenty of uh, bed space now. And this is our, our dresser that we also got at Ikea. Uh, it's a pretty substantial dresser. It's probably most of the weight in the cargo trailer, but we have plenty of storage. The drawers open up this very easily. You got cupcake stuff, you got my stuff. Um, we got storage here for uh, lots of different things. I mean, it's, there's a lot of space in here. And then we also have a small metal cabinet uh, where we have, looks like six shelves where we keep our medicines, gloves, lots of, every, uh, lots of other things like that. We also have a, a full length mirror that we have on the wall here that will allow Cupcake primarily to make sure that she looks okay. Uh, I don't personally care about myself. So we have a small window here that we put in when we built out the cargo trailer initially uh, several years ago. It works great. It's, it's really all we need for ventilation. Okay, we also have an air conditioner in here whenever we have access to power or if it's a super hot day, we have our generator. We have a, a 4,600 watt generator. Uh, that we just got because our Honda generator that we had just wasn't enough to push it to kick the compressor on. And our new generator works great. This is a 5,000 BTU. It's a single hose. Uh, I've heard some people complain about them, but for us, it's working out great. It keeps the, the cargo trailer very cool. But then again, you're only cooling 60 square feet. Um, I went ahead and put in the ventilation into the floor so I can easily slide out the panel, uh, put the exhaust hose into it and it, it works really well for us and i've talked about it before but I, I i've had a lot of questions about this this locked system that we have in here my little brother actually made this bracket uh he, he welded it together whenever we want to when we're leaving the cargo trailer it's very easy you just open it up you close it here and then at night i can lock it here and then you can't open it uh, so we feel very safe and secure in here all right, so most of you seen our previous video on our little drop down table. Uh, last time I had uh, the big Coleman stove with us, the two burner one. I decided to bring just the one burner Coleman with us this time because I also brought my Blackstone uh, griddle. Uh, it's a 17 inch and I plan to do a lot of cooking on that as well this trip. Uh, under here you can see that uh, Cornbread built me several shelves under here that I can store all of our canned goods this time. And then I have a, a magnetic uh, bar underneath there that I can uh, put all my uh, knives. Now, back here in the very back, there is lots of storage still behind the um, cabinetry. There's storage for like water, extra supplies. I have all of my canisters for this Coleman stove uh, stored back there. And then I have a little shelf here that houses like some of my seasonings, our silverware, and then let me open up these cabinets and you can see how much storage I really do have in this area. Um, all my pots and pans, plates, extra uh, silverware bowls. Okay, so as you can see, we do have a small canopy put up. It's a four foot by six foot canopy. It fits perfectly in between the two doors. Uh, if it is raining out, it's more for shade. If it's raining outside, I'm sorry, but I'm probably not gonna cook that day. We're gonna have sandwiches or cereal or something that's fast, okay? But it does provide me some shade uh, when I am cooking. And then I also have a little small table that I'll pull out that I can set the Blackstone on. When I'm washing my dishes, I'll set my uh, collapsible uh, pans there to be able to wash dishes. Okay, with our shower, uh, if we were to use it right now, it would drain directly onto the ground. And we don't wanna do that. So what I did was I made this PVC pipe uh, with different connections to go down to where it went to a flexible hose and then I can snap this part on here this will go in underneath the uh, cargo trailer into the drain of the shower it connects here I have a, a cord underneath the cargo trailer that will help support this and then this can drain directly into here from the cargo trailer into this six gallon container that way we have no shower water uh, or wastewater that will go onto the ground
Okay, as you can see, I'm sitting in the bed area. I have plenty of room to raise up like this if I need to raise up. It's very spacious. Uh, Cornbread and I have no issue uh, with the length of the bed to be able to sleep in it. Um, we didn't do any changes to our ceiling. It's still the cedar planks uh, from the last trip. They have held up very well. Uh, as you can see, one of our little light solutions that we have are these little magnetic uh, lights that are rechargeable lights. And there's just these little screws that hold the cedar planks in and those will snap right, you know, connect right to them without any issues. Now, let me show you one addition to the bed that we didn't have the last time. And that's this little shelf right here. It's made out of uh, little furring strips. I think they're one inch furring strips. Um, and what this is for is like, you know me, I got to have a little bit of like the home comfort things going on. So I like to decorate with my pillows and my little extra blankets and things. So at nighttime when we get ready for bed, all I have to do is take all the pillows and I'll store them up there. They're out of the way. I'm not having to throw them on the floor because the floor space, you know, is needed for when we get up and down. And this works perfectly. All right. So we also have this little fan that a battery pack will, um, power the fan and whenever the battery pack dies then we just get recharged the battery pack then also over here i have a little basket for my stuff um i have a charger over here of one of the battery pack chargers that i can charge my fitbit my phone and then i just put it in there when this one dies i get me a new one and recharge this one okay and so you can actually see that i'm five seven I have no issues with the length of the bed. I can stretch out, lay down, uh, and watch some TV. Not that we really watch TV very often, but we do have the TV, and uh, we can enjoy some afternoons just relaxing in the bed. And we've added a spare tire carrier. On our last trip, we took it with us in the back of the truck, but by putting it here, it's helped us free up some space. We've also kind of put a few decorations on the cargo trailer, like our website, as well as I tried to make our window a little more homey looking, uh, a little more rustic. We've also added uh, fenders and we've also added this on the back door of our cargo trailer. I'd rather be hiking with cupcake and cornbread. Uh, we have some t-shirts available if anybody's interested. If you're in the Nashville, Tennessee area and looking for an alternative to Broadway, you might want to consider Just In Time Adventures. Uh, their YouTube channel too, we're collaborating with. They do amazing hiking tours in the Nashville area. So uh, if you're interested, you can go to our website. Uh, they have a link there. It'll, you'll have an amazing adventure and you'll also help us out. All right, I guess you can see to the sides here, we're in a state park right now. We're actually in the Wilson Island State Park in Missouri Valley, Iowa. Uh, it's a very inexpensive park and that's always important to us. Um, we don't typically stay. Yeah, we prefer BLM <laughs> land. Yeah. Um, but this, we're coming to the close of the video and I just wanted to kind of give you a couple of pointers uh, based on our experience in our cargo trailer conversion. This is our third more or less uh, remodel <laughs> of the cargo trailer. And this is by far our favorite. Yes, absolutely. In the, the second one, we redid the bed and the bed is pretty much the same. Right. Uh, we, we have added a few little cubbies here and there mm -hmm. where we had some space available. We added the pantry in the back here since the second one. And with the second one, we had the shower disaster. <laughs> it was I in mean, the tongue of the trailer, but. So as far as a pointer, uh, 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 this is a, a bottom line for pretty much everything. Keep it simple. Right. With the shower that I did for our second build, 
I was trying to be fancy. <laughs> I was use I was like, I can use the sink that we got from Ikea as a base. And I built everything around that and went up with it. And it just did not work at all. It was just a complete waste of time and money. Right. <laughs> and now I'm using the sink in our cabin. When we catch fish, we can clean them in it. Yes. <laughs> That's what a sink is for. It's not for a shower base. Right. So we ordered this shower base that we have now. It's a 32 by 32. Uh, I built a, a simple wall. I built another simple half wall. I, try, I was starting to get fancy, but I kept it simple. <laughs> And now we just have tin on the inside. We have a curtain that that goes all the way in, so there's no spaces left open, mm -hmm. and that is working out great. And another pointer is get a plan going, and say this is where this goes. Make sure whenever you use it, you put it back there. <laughs> She's very bad about that. <laughs> no, I'm very bad about that. So make sure that you have a plan on where you're going to put stuff and make sure it goes back there every time. Right. If you do that, it makes things infinitely easier. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Any comments, if you'll leave them below, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, have a great day. See you soon.